The identity matrix I sub n is the n by n square matrix with a 1 in each of the entries along the main diagonal and a 0 in every other entry. Given this definition, push pause and try to write down I sub 4. Did you get a 4 by 4 matrix with 1s along the main diagonal and a 0 for the other entries? Let's go ahead and multiply the matrix A equals row 1, 3, 2, negative 1, 5, and row 2, 2, 0, negative 4, 7, by the appropriately sized identity matrix I. If we multiply I on the left side of A, what size should I be? If you decided that I would need to be a 2 by 2 matrix, you're right. Since A is a 2 by 4 matrix, and since I must be square, in order to perform the multiplication, I would need to be a 2 by 2 matrix. OK, push pause and do the multiplication. Did you get the matrix A? In fact, when we multiply any matrix by the identity matrix I, the result is the original matrix. So, multiplying a matrix by the identity matrix is just like multiplying a number by 1. Now suppose we want to multiply this same matrix A by the appropriately sized identity matrix on the right. What size matrix would I have to be? Since A is a 2 by 4 matrix, and since I must be square, I would have to be a 4 by 4 matrix this time, right? And if we were to perform this multiplication, do you think the result would be A again? Yep, it sure would. You get the original matrix back, whether you multiply by the identity matrix on the left or the identity matrix on the right.